was some distance away. We could be one shot away. One good long pot. He's got an easy snooker in behind the pink. But he's looking to win at this visit. Yes, and Mrs. Selby would like him to win at this visit as well, I'm sure. He's in. Yeah, great pop. Quite a few people said that he didn't necessarily play his best snooker to win his second world title, but he's had to produce it here, not just tonight, but let's not forget John Higgins in the quarterfinals. That epic 6-5. He had Sean Murphy in the semi-finals. Ronnie O'Sullivan coming back at him in the final. But it's Mark Selby in, in the frame he needs to win the title. Nine. Sixteen. Could have done with being straighter on this red. He would have been able to play through for the black men. Now we may have to move up towards the blue, pink. Seventeen. Well, he's got the angle just to bounce off the cushion for the red. That's in the bulk area. He's also got the angle to screw down the table for that red to the right of the pink spot. He needs to slow up. Well, that came so close to getting the cover. Yes, you can see enough of it. And you can play for the brown, pink or blue. You can get anywhere from there. I think he's just steadying himself. Doesn't want to rush anything. Well, maybe he can't pot the red. Twenty-three. Well, he would have liked to have been straighter on the red, but I think he can get to the black with the aid of a cannon. If that red is closest to, the red's closest to. If there's any doubt, he could screw up for the blue. Did 
didn't really want to play a cannon to these three reds. But he may not have an option. Didn't want to play the cannon, but now that he has, it couldn't have turned out any better. 25. Caught it half ball. Every chance now. 36. And I think in some ways, if he completes victory, it's more satisfying than had he won 10-2, 10-3, because Ronnie O'Sullivan there really put him under pressure. Coming back at him with big breaks, great snooker. But Selby, as he so often does, Responding. 43. Well, the waistcoat is uh, being undone there. He thinks it's over. Forty-four. He might be right. 57 the lead with the black, so another red and a colour. Snook is required. Yes, and what a great final it's been. I've seen the best from both these players. He won. Fifty two. O'Sullivan has given this absolutely everything. He's tried so hard, but he knows that this is match ball. He wants another red, though, to make sure. 63 the lead at the moment. Yes, his wife has been at enough of these finals to know she can't quite celebrate yet. Maybe if this goes in, though. She can start. There it is. I told you I could do it once again. He becomes the sixth player to do the World and UK double in the same calendar year. Well, a bit of inappropriate shouting out. It's not going to mar what's been a great occasion. Fantastic final between two wonderful match players. 66. <coughs> 73. A truly great champion. Make no mistake about that. How about another century to finish? Ronnie O'Sullivan's had three. Mark Selby's already had two. 82. What marks him out is that he can handle the pressure. That's the downfall 87. of so many players, but Mark Selby just seems to revel in it. 7-2 it up. That was reduced to just 8-7. Didn't buckle, not for a minute. Made a 1-3-4 in the last frame. And this is the winning break here, whatever it becomes. It's going to become another century. Remarkable snooker. Well, he's been world number one since February 2015. It's coming up to two years. And with the 170,000 here, he's going to be there for a long, long time yet. 96. Blue then to end, to win with a century. 101. And listen to that roar. Thoroughly enjoyed it. As have we. Yes, both players gave it everything, brought everything to the table. Ronnie O'Sullivan put Mark Selby under all sorts.
of pressure. But this man responds to pressure. And he's done it again. He wins with a break of 107. Mark Selby confirms himself as a modern great. He wins a second UK Championship title. He did it the hard way, but he held off the Ronnie O'Sullivan charge. And he's our winner by 10 frames to seven. Cool as you like. And there is his wife, Vicky, and their daughter, Sophia, being brought into the arena. There's the real prize, I guess. The trophy and the money's great, but look at that for a picture. Ladies wonderful scenes after a wonderful final.